This must be circa 1960. Look at that bugger. It's an old pop top. Amazing. I'll put this bugger right back where I found it. Amazing. Why anybody would wake up in the morning, put a freaking leotard on, and go out and ride their bike on a highway with their stupid little bikes is beyond me. It's, not only is it ridiculously stupid, you look stupid, it's freaking dangerous. Look at this shit. There's no shoulder. Oh my god, I can't wait to get back in, in the mountain. There's no shoulder on the other side. So I'm riding against traffic. Oh, here's my dad right here. Oh, goodbye, everybody. Nice knowing you. He got over, luckily. Usually there's cars in the other lanes, so they can't get over. See that pass up there? I gotta walk up that. Pretty much hate my life. I just can't have a good day. So oh, here you go, buddy. Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Douchebag. Now this is a good shoulder to ride on. See how wide it is? It's perfect. And you don't have semis on top of you. I'm doing about 32 miles an hour right now. One good thing about going up those passes is that it's always downhill on the other side, usually. So I'll check back in with you once I hit Rollins and see what that town's all about. here in Rollins and I'm getting ready to leave. It's kind of a cool little town. It's kind of a downtown area. 10,000 people. It's not bad. It's kind of a nice little quaint town. But you know, I need to get to Colorado. That's where I'm headed. I just want to go somewhere where someone can plug me into the social pipeline. A place where the beer flows like wine where the women flock like the salmon at Capistrano. A little place I like to call Aspen. <laughs> More of downtown Rollins. Biggest town I've hit yet. Well, in Wyoming at least. Well, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. This is definitely the loneliest and worst I felt on the whole trip. This desert in Wyoming is just horrible. Absolutely horrible. I stopped because I gotta tell you, all I can smell is dead animals for 20 miles now. It's just non-stop. I almost gotta puke, it's that bad. Dead rabbits everywhere, uh, pronghorns, just everything you could imagine is dead on the side of the road. I'm telling you, I can smell it now, just the smell of death everywhere. Oh, it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Yeah, I can tell it's, and it doesn't stop. It's just non-stop. It's making me absolutely sick. It's rotting animals. Yeah, I'm headed towards those mountains. Uh, I believe they're the Sierra Madres, and then from there I go into Medicine Bow, uh, the wilderness area. So, I gotta get out of Wyoming. This is the, just the worst state. Oh, shit. Well, I've been walking my bike up this wasteland for two hours, heading up that those mountains I was showing you. 
But here's the view from up here. Pretty, pretty pathetic, huh? Stinking stupid desert. Don't ever come here. There's absolutely nothing to see. I thought it was gonna be a hop, skip, and a jump over to Colorado, but it's not looking that way. It's looking like quite a nightmare. But I'll bring you along for the whole trip. Well, as I continue on my nightmare, I come across this snow. It's covered in dirt. Maybe if I can dig, dig in it, I can get down to some uh, good clean snow. Maybe uh, put some uh, put some of it in my pack for ice. Or I can ruin my camera, get it covered in snow. Well, I was gonna dig in this snow and get some chunks out and put them in my bag, but I'm too tired and it's hard as ice. Once you get down past this first layer, it's just ice. There's some guys enjoying the Continental Divide on their bikes. They're smart. They got engines. Oh, it still sucks. <sighs> this is turning into a fucking joke. I shit you not. There is more uphill than downhill in this whole Continental Divide mountain bike route. 